Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I have a chemist warehouse haul. This bag is full. Oh, oh my goodness, I am so excited to share these items with you. During like last week, Chemist Warehouse had a massive sale on their cosmetics. It was 50% off most cosmetics and you know I had to just make my way down there and purchase a few things. I feel like Chemist Warehouse does these sales a lot more often than Priceline so keep your eyes out for those. All right well if you're excited for today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. All right so I finally decided to pick up some makeup from the brand W7 which is already an insanely cheap makeup line but they were also included in the 50% off sale so I'm pretty sure everything Thing I picked up from them was $2.50. $2.50. Oh my god. So I did have a quick look online first and kind of just got people's opinions on what's good, what's not good. And after a bit of browsing, I decided to pick up the following items. Firstly, I grabbed a foundation. This is the Genius Feather Light Foundation. And I actually have trouble finding the shades on these. Oh, buff. So I picked up the foundation that just looked the lightest. Now let's give this a quick little swatch. Mm, okay. It's pretty fair. I don't know if it'll be fair enough for me, but I think this is quite a sheer foundation anyway, so I might be able to sheer that out. We will see. Is it described as anything? No, it just says it's feather light. Next, I grabbed the HD Concealer and this is in the shade LC3. This wasn't the lighter shade. There was one lighter, maybe two lighter, but I actually have high hopes for this. It comes with a nice big doe foot applicator. It's not extremely thick, like, you know how concealers with these big wands are usually like more thick and full coverage. It's quite lightweight still, but I think it's going to have a pretty decent coverage and look how fair that shade is. <sighs> like, I'm pretty pumped to try this one out. Next, I picked up two products from the Very Vegan line. This one here is a highlighting powder and it's in the shade Nature's Glow. They only have one shade in all of these, I'm pretty sure. Now this highlighter had pretty good reviews online, which is why I picked it up. I'm hoping it's going to be fair enough for my skin tone. They did have swatches there, like, is that what they're called? Samples? Oh my God, like mind blank. But they were all covered, like you couldn't swatch them. Mmm, it doesn't look too bad. Kind of like a pale gold. It feels really nice. Very pigmented too. Ooh! Can you see it on my skin tone? <laughs> okay, that feels quite creamy. Oh, we might have a winner here, folks. The shade isn't too dark too. It might be a little, a little deep for me, but I'm like extremely white, so. <laughs> and then I grabbed the Sun Kissed matte bronzer from the very vegan line it does look a bit deep it's not extremely warm though so it could work actually that's all right it feels quite soft it says it's a matte bronzer but it looks like it's got a bit of a sheen to it another product that had really good reviews is the fixer face spray now this is like the tiniest bottle ever it comes with 18 mils but apparently it keeps your makeup in place for a really really long time let's give it a quick spray and see if it's got a scent smells nice Spray is a little rough, but what do you expect? It was $2.50. <laughs> Next, ooh, mm. actually the scent's a bit stronger than I thought. It's kind of lingering. It's not bad though. Next, I picked up the Stroke of Genius Brow Pencil. This is a micro brow pencil. You've got a spoolie on one side and I picked up the shade Blonde. Now, as I said, I couldn't use any of the testers. 
That's what they're called. I don't think I said that before when I was trying to figure out what I was trying to say. <laughs> so I couldn't see what the color was like. Oh, this is very fine. I like that. A bit dark for a blonde pencil though. It's more like a warm brown. My brows are tinted at the moment, so they're a bit darker, so it might work for me right now. And then I picked up three lipsticks because they had some beautiful shades and the packaging of these are really nice as well. So first up, this is the Velvet Luxe Lipstick and it's in the shade What's Nude. And then I picked up two from the Lippy Chic line. These are an ultra cream lipstick. I have the shade Gossip and Shout Out. The packaging of these lipsticks is beautiful. It's like a really soft matte and the tones like oh my god okay so let's swatch them so the velvet luxe lipstick in the shade what's nude this is what it looks like stunning oh <laughs> oh mate <laughs> and then we have shout out in the lippy chic oh Wow, 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 wow. And then this is Gossip in the Lippy Chic. A bit of a deeper shade. It does look quite cool toned. Oh my God. Seriously, seriously, these shades. <laughs> that, that is me. Okay, wow. I'm so excited to try them. And they're a really creamy formula as well. Now, I didn't pick up any eyeshadows because I just hate cheap eyeshadows. Like, I just can't be bothered. So I didn't grab any of those. I did pick up, though, one of the Power Puff sponges. Now, this had pretty good reviews online as well. I am a bit of a sponge snob, though. So we'll see. It does feel quite dense when it's dry but it's actually very smooth. I think it says it's like late, oh no, latex free. Mmm, this could be nice. Hopefully it's not too hard when it's wet, but looks nice, looks nice, feels nice, you know. <laughs> so that is everything I picked up from the brand W7. I also wanted to get a setting powder, but they just weren't fair enough for me. So I scrapped that as well, but I'm really excited to try this stuff. I actually have pretty high hopes for the products that I chose. So I will do an entire video dedicated to testing these out, so stay tuned for that. Some more makeup. I finally got my hands on the new Maybelline Lifter Glosses. I feel like these really got teased to us here in Australia. In Priceline, they put like a little section in the Maybelline stand, like saying, coming soon, for like two bloody months. So I've been looking out for these for so long. I love this packaging as well. Like the clear bottom with the like nude lid. Mm, stunning. And they're a lot bigger than I thought as well. Okay. Oh, it's got a nice big doe foot applicator as well. I love that. All right. So this one here is stone and this one is moon. So moon does have some shimmer particles in it, whereas stone does not. I'm pretty sure there are a few different formulations amongst this range as well. Like this one is more sheer with the glitter and this one actually does have a bit more pigment to it. So we'll see how they go. Next, I picked up another one of the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencils. This is in the shade Blonde. I absolutely love this brow pencil. It is the perfect shade, nice and light. It's got a very small micro tip, which it's just my favorite kind of way to apply my brows lately. I love these tiny little pencils. You can be very precise. I fly through these, so I needed another one. Next, I picked up the Rimmel Glow Stick Highlighter, and this is in the shade 001 Bubbly. I've actually been eyeing this off for a while now. This is a cream stick highlighter. I'll give it a little swatch. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I swatched this in the worst place. It's, it's just there. I hope you can see that glow. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful shade for my fair skin tone and it's very creamy. 
I am just loving the more cream liquid highlighters lately. They just leave so much more of a radiant glow and mm, 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 loving them. And then lastly for the makeup related, I actually picked up a Flower Beauty blending sponge. Now I do have the purple one, which I feel like is so loved and raved about. I do like it, but the shape of it is just far too big and it really expands when you wet it as well. So I saw that they had a much more slimmer sponge and it has a pointed and a flat end. So I thought this would be absolutely great. It's much more my shape preference when it comes to blending sponges. Now these sponges are already quite affordable. They're only $8, but I got it on sale for $4. How good is that? So you've got the flat side there, which is really good for applying powders and then a pointed side for blending out your concealer. All right, and then I just picked up a few random things. First up is this Pears Soap and I brought this to try out the soap brows. Now, a couple of months ago, I did pick up the Patrick Ta Clear Brow Wax and like it works great. But oh my god, it was hella expensive. And so I thought, why not just try out a good old fashioned transparent soap? I feel like I need to buy a little dish or something just to sit it in. I might have to YouTube how people store this because like it is a pretty thick bar of soap. If you use soap for your brows, how do you store it? Next, I picked up a body wash. This is the Thank You Body Wash in the scent. Botanical mint and spring flowers. Now these do come in like the really big bottles that are very good value for money, but I haven't tried out this one before. So I picked up a smaller one. It was $7. Oh, oh I love mint. So I think I'm going to like that. I just hope it doesn't have like a tingle. Sometimes mint can kind of give you that really cooling burn. Mm, I didn't think about that. But anyway, and then to go along with my body wash, I needed a new loofah and I thought I would try something a bit more eco-friendly. And this is a Rami, Rami bath puff. So it's made from natural Rami or Rami. This is what it looks like. I'll give you a close up so you can get a feel for the texture. So this is the brand Natural Beauty and it says that their products are selected to be as eco-friendly and natural as possible. They use recycled, renewable, natural products and processes as much as possible. I think it'll feel quite nice on the skin. Oh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And that was $4, not even on sale. So what a bargain. Um, there was something else I wanted to tell you the price of. The lip glosses, they're originally $18.95. Like, okay, I've been eyeing them for a while, but they just weren't going on sale and I wasn't paying $18.95 each. So I ended up getting them on sale for $9.50. That's better. All right, well, that is all for my chemist warehouse haul today. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, I will link my last chemist warehouse haul below. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I make a ton of content related to affordable Australian makeup, lots of stuff from Priceline as well. And if you don't already, make sure you also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. Links are down in the description box. If you have any questions, make sure to leave me a comment down below and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.